Misaki. Ah! Whoa! You, you startled me. Sorry, I was in the middle of cooking. No, it's my bad for suddenly speaking. Oh no, it's okay. What's up? Nothing, I was just curious about what you were up to. I just figured that everybody would be getting hungry soon, so I decided to cook. Oh, okay. Sorry for interrupting. That's alright. It's just at a time like this, I'm a bit on edge. Yeah. As long as Misaki is cooking in here, it will be really difficult to take one of the knives. I have to look in another room for a weapon. Ko is sleeping. He's always been the one who's been investigating. How rare. Ko is sleeping. Hey, wanna prank him? I think you should cut that out. Died from trying to save others. This message, what the hell does it mean? What a great smell. Speaking of which, do you have the time? After saying that, Osamu pulled out a rather old fashioned looking watch from his pocket. Wow, that clock is really stylish. Oh, thank you. Aren't antiques wonderful? I had it specially made. I always carry it on me, just like my notebook. That's also specially made. It even has a special key. Wow, you really set on that style. Yes, I like it. I'm always looking for more antiques. Really now? Speaking of that, do you like books too? Oh, of course. Besides reading short novels, I'm also interested in writing them as well. Wow, I guess that's cliche for a language teacher. Yes, but why is a language teacher pulled into all of this? I help people grow. It's a really big part of my job. Yeah, I guess. I guess Osamu has more than one side to him. By the way, this broken mirror is really dangerous. Th that's it! This broken shard? I could use it as a weapon, no? It would be as sharp as a knife. I could end someone's life with it. But could I even kill someone to begin with? No. But if I don't kill someone, I just have to steal my heart. Back to the point. I have to get a piece of it off. But it would be really dangerous to use my bare hands. Is there something I can use to hold it with? I just wanted to rest for a bit, but I fell asleep. But it turned out just a little nap was just what I needed. More importantly, the wolf has been on the move. I need to investigate. The Investigator Co. Even after a nap, he is right back to it. I don't know what I'd do if he'd ever suspect me as a wolf. Wow, it smells so good. Can you wait just a little bit longer? Okay. Misaki is such a good kid. Don't you think so too? 
yeah. She certainly is a charming person. But this time, I'm the wolf. If the opportunity happened, I have to be prepared to hurt even Misaki. Man, the pressure is driving my heart crazy. All right, perfect. I'll set out the plates. I'm happy that everybody will get to eat something. Aren't you gonna eat? I'm still not hungry right now. Oh, okay. You'll eat later though, right? The kitchen really does smell super good. Although, I'm not hungry at all. I wonder if it has to do with being the wolf. <sighs> I don't know when the wolf is going to kill. And that's scary. Yeah, on that note, don't let your guard down. For all I know, you could be the wolf. I can't trust anybody. But this time, I really am the wolf. Maki, are you alright? You don't look like you're in great shape. Oh, sorry, I'm fine. Just a bit tired. Well, when you've calmed down a bit, you should try reading a book. It might just help change your mood a bit. Oh, okay. I'll try it. Thank you. Why are you always following me around? Perhaps you're the wolf and you want to attack me? No. It was a coincidence. Hmm. You say that, but you could be hiding some sort of secret special weapon right now. Special weapon? What is she talking about? I'm sure she has no clue about the weapon I have in mind. She sure is a very distrustful person. Just like a cat. There's a bed sheet being used like a curtain. Hmm? It's got a bit of a tear at the bottom. I see. If I use this, I could wrap it around the mirror. I look around me. There's nobody else in this room. I tear off a small piece of the curtain and take it with me. There's no one in here. Now's the time. Taking the curtain I had from before, I take down the mirror piece. Ow! The piece slipped as I took it down and it cut my left hand. Just as I thought, the blood is awful. If anyone saw this, it'd be really suspicious. I hurriedly wrap the mirror piece with the cloth, a makeshift blade, and place it in my pocket. Now that I've made my weapon, I should attend to my bleeding left hand. Before anybody sees, I have to quickly take care of my hand. This is most certainly a first aid box. I have to take care of this cut. All right. Hmm, what are you doing? Ah! He, he surprised me, Osamu. I'm sorry for alarming you. Oh, your hand. You've hurt it? Are you okay? I'm okay. Why are you acting weird? Did something happen? Sh shit. My response was suspicious. Lie about your injury. I'm okay, don't worry about me. It's a paper cut. It's a rose thorn from the greenhouse. A rose thorn, I see. Yeah, that's why I'm doing first aid. 
I too came here for some medicine since I'm worried that Maki is feeling ill. Well then, you're welcome to look in this first aid kit. Oh really? Thank you. Fat nervousness. Think nothing of it. <laughs> Thank you. After Asami said that, he left the room. Why did I say that lie? That was close. If he had seen my weapon, he would have known for sure I was the wolf. I, after wrapping up my hand, hurriedly think about what to do next. The longer I have this weapon on me, the more likely I'll get caught. I have to do something soon. But I'm scared for whoever I choose to kill. What do I do? No, I can't hate this. This time, I'm the wolf. If I don't kill someone, I'll be killed. I want to stay alive. I want to get out. Then, if I have to kill, who will it be? Picking a room with a lot of people in it would be bad. If there is a chance, it would be better to pick someone all alone. Let's go look.